in this session we are going to work on this login button if the user is logged in then instead of displaying this login button i should display the logout button okay so for that we are going to work and for this we are going to use sessions if the session is active only then we are going to use logout button or else if the session is not active then we will be displaying the login button okay now we are going to work on this and this is checkout.php so first let me just come to checkout.php inside users area i am having this checkout.php i'll just open this one and inside this we have already written this one okay if this session is not active okay that particular username is not active then i should be redirected to user login page or else i should be redirected to payment page okay this we have already implemented inside user login.php we have already written the logic for login page now what we are going to do we are going to start the session here and inside this you can see i have already accessed the session variable username and inside this i am just storing the username okay whichever user is getting logged in that username i am storing inside this session variable now what i am going to do inside user login.php below this i am just going to start the session so i'll just write here session start i'll just write here proper spelling i'll save this i'll just copy the same thing and inside checkout.php also i'm just going to start the session now i have started the session inside user login.php and also i have started the session inside checkout.php now two times i'm starting the session now what i have told you if the session is not active then i will be redirected to login page and that login page will be included inside the same file and inside login page also i'm starting the session and inside checkout also i'm starting the session so i'll be getting the error let me just come here now if i refresh this one you can see i'll be getting this notice session start ignoring session start because the session is already active so you can see the session is already active again and again i can't start the session so instead of writing like this inside user login.php when i'll just write here at symbol now what it is going to do if this particular page is active only then the session will be started or else this will not be started it simply means that if this particular page is active only then i am just starting the session now i'll come here now if i refresh this one you can see that error has gone and i don't have any error now what i am going to do inside this login.php here we have already created the session variable and we have stored inside this one okay you can see we have stored inside this now i'm just going to copy this session variable and inside checkout.php here we are having this login button you can see here we are having this login now below this i'm just going to write php code i'll just write here php and i'm just going to close this and inside this i'm just going to check for the condition if my session is not active okay here i have written this not symbol if this session is not active let me just come here first i have to check for this if not is set and inside this i'm just going to remove this one i'm just checking if this session is not set i'll just open this curly braces then i just have to display the logout button i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste that one and instead of double quotes i'll just write a single quotes and instead of displaying this login i'll just write a logout button else here i'm just going to write else else means this session is active i'll copy the same thing and here i'm going to paste and instead of logout i'll just write here login i'll save this and also one more thing now here i'll just remove this i'll just write here user login.php and here i'm going to create one file that is nothing but logout.php i'll save this now i'll refresh this one now inside checkout okay here also i'm having logout and here i'm having login let me just come down i'm just going to remove this one now i'll refresh this now you can see here i'm having logout button instead of logout i should be getting here login because user is not logged in yet so for that here i'm just going to write login if session is not set then i should be displaying this login or else i should display the logout which means the session is active now i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this login button now what i'm going to do i'm login using one user i'll write khanam 1234 login as soon as i login i'll be getting this message okay i am redirected to payment page now when i come to checkout page you can see 
instead of login button here i am having this log out because my session is active now if my session is not active only then i have to display this login button or else i should display this log out button okay in the same way i am just going to copy this entire thing i'll copy this one and inside user login we have not created any nav bar so we don't have to paste that one here i'll just come to index.php and inside this inside this also i have to display if the user is active okay that is if the user is logged in then i should be getting the log out button so for that first i'm just going to start the session i'll just start the session and the same code wherever i am having this login let me just come down here i am having login i'll just remove this one instead of that i'm just going to paste that and instead of this path i'll just write here users area users area and inside that i'm having user login dot php and also inside this users area also i'm just going to create this logout so i'm just writing it here i'll save this i'll refresh this one now i'll come to home page now you can see inside home page also i'm having this logout button now when i click on this products inside this products i'm having this login so in each and every file we are going to write the same thing okay whatever we have done we have just started the session here in each and every page you have to do by yourself we have just started the session here and i have just included the code here okay whatever code we have written here i am just including that one here okay this login button let me just come up okay this entire thing whatever we have done just include this in each and every file okay again i'll just come to product details.php and inside that i am just going to paste that one i'll just paste this and instead of this path okay let me just remove this again i'll just copy this one i'll copy this and inside this product details i'm just going to paste that one and also i just have to start the session here i'll be starting the session session start i'll save this i'll refresh this one now when i come to products page let me just refresh once i'll come to home page now inside home page i'm having now inside products okay inside products i have not added i have just added inside product details let me come to display all dot php i'll just paste the same thing and also i'm just going to start the session here okay whenever we are using session we have to start the session i'll save this now i'll refresh this one inside display all also the button is changed to log out in the same way i'm just going to paste that inside this one inside search product below this i'll just remove i'll paste that one and also i'm just going to start the session here i'll be starting the session session start i'll save this inside cart inside cart we are not having inside cart also we are having login i'll just remove i'll paste that one here and also i'm just going to start the session okay in each and every file wherever you are having login just change this one in start the session and include that code in whichever file we are having the login button just change that one to log out okay this is how we are going to work okay we are done with this displaying the login and log out button next what we are going to do we are going to check for the condition if the user is active whatever username is stored inside the session that username should be displayed here instead of welcome guest if the user is logged in then i should be getting welcome that username okay next we are going to work on that and also every links whatever we have given that everything is working fine inside cart we are having products okay everything is working now inside this i'm just going to search for apple i'll search you can see i'm getting apple now i'm inside search product.php now when i click on this register button i am not getting redirected okay because in last session we have not changed inside this file so i'm just going to copy the same path and inside this search products i'm just going to paste that one okay here we are having this one register i'm just going to paste that okay whatever changes you see you can change by yourself whatever changes you want to do you can do by yourself i am just telling you wherever you have to change so that it will look good okay in each and every page you have to add the links by yourself okay we are done with this login and logout session next we are going to work on username session